Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. So today we will be discussing yet another important topic of English grammar that is conjunction. So before we start understanding conjunction, let us quickly revise that uh, conjunction is one of the eight parts of speech. So what are the eight parts of speech? Noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction and interjection. So uh, conjunction is one of the eight parts of speech. Now let us proceed further and focus on the topic conjunction. So when we look at the word conjunction, we see that the word conjunction is a combination of two words, right? That is con and junction. Now con means together and junction means join. So when these combine together to form conjunction, and it gives the meaning of getting together, joining together rather. So conjunction can be defined as a word joining together, that joins together. Now next question arises, joins what, isn't it? So a conjunction is a word that joins words together, it joins phrases together and it even join sentences together. So now we get the complete definition of conjunction. So what is it exactly? It's a word that joins words together, phrases together and even sentences together. Now let's see how. So, uh, <clears throat> bread and butter right so bread is a word and butter is another word and we can join it with the conjunction and so this makes bread and butter so we can see that two words are being joined by the conjunction uh, and Further, let's see how a, a conjunction joins phrases together. Maybe like we can have two phrases, a pen, a pencil. So these two phrases can be joined by the conjunction and. So now it becomes a pen and a pencil, right? So this shows that a conjunction can join two phrases together. Now let us see the example of sentences, how conjunctions join sentences together. Okay, we can have two sentences. Tom is tall and another sentence, Tom is healthy. Now these two sentences are completely separate, isn't it? Two separate statements. One is Tom is tall and the second statement is Tom is healthy. So now we can join these two sent uh, sentences or maybe we can say uh, statements together with the help of a conjunction. How? Let's see. Tom is tall and healthy, right? So these two sentences, Tom is tall and Tom is healthy, we can join it with the help of the conjunction and. So now it becomes one sentence that is Tom is tall and healthy. So I hope by now all of you must have understood how a conjunction joins words together, phrases together and even sentences together. Now let us talk about the con different, I mean, the different conjunctions one by one. So uh, let us first talk about the conjunction and. So the conjunction and is used where two equal or two parallel things or two parallel features, two parallel characteristics are mentioned, right? So uh, basically, uh, no, two parallel things, that is uh, two equal things. 
fine neither one is important and the, the other is less important or anything like that whatever mentioned both are of equal weightage there's an equality right let's see uh, this through this example so we have two sentences john is intelligent and john is hard working now both these qualities both of them are positive qualities right intelligent is a positive feature and hard working is again a positive feature right both are equal both are at the same level neither is more important and the other one is less important or uh, one is positive or another is negative it's not that both the qualities are of equal importance both are positive and both are of equal importance so here we will be using the conjunction and so how will we join these two sentences together john is intelligent and hard working so why did we use and here because both are of equal importance both the qualities are parallel to each other isn't it both are of equal weightage fine now let's take another example the train stops at mathura the train stops at Mathura and the other sentence is the train stops at Agra. So again both parallel things isn't it? The train stops at Mathura and then the train stops at Agra. So there is an equality, there is a, uh, I mean, both the statements are at the same level, right? So again, we will be using the conjunction and. So now here goes the sentence, the train stops at Mathura and Agra. I hope this much is clear to everyone. Now, two important things to be kept in mind when a conjunction is being used to join two sentences together. The same words are not repeated. This is the first point. And secondly, the punctuation mark obviously comes at the end of the sentence. That means this punctuation mark is omitted, right? And the same words are also not used. Similarly, here also in the sentence, we see the same thing. John is intelligent. Now, this full stop is not used anywhere when we are joining the sentences together. And similarly, this part, join, uh, John is, is again not repeated. Fine. So I hope this part is clear to all of you and the conjunction and is equally uh, crystal clear to everyone. So now let's proceed further. Proceeding further to the next uh, conjunction that is but. So uh, but is used in just the opposite case as we discussed in and. Right. In and we uh, discussed that two parallel, two equal things are mentioned. Isn't that? But in the, uh, I mean, when in the statements, when in, a, in the two sentences, two contrast things are mentioned, two opposite uh, things are mentioned, qualities, two opposite qualities are mentioned, there we use but, right? Let's see the example. So I have written two sentences on the board. Tom is naughty and Tom is intelligent. So here we have two features but the important thing to uh, point is uh, two things I mean two qualities are opposite to each other isn't it so naughty it's a positive quality sorry a negative quality and being intelligent is a positive quality so opposite things uh, two contrast things are mentioned isn't it to contrast 
characteristics aren't mentioned. So here in this case, we will use but. Let's see how we'll join these two sentences together. So Tom is naughty but intelligent, right? So Tom is naughty but intelligent which uh, why did we use the uh, conjunction but because two contrast features two contrast characters are being mentioned right so this is the case where we use but let's see another example the days are hot this is one sentence the Nights are pleasant. So, this is the feature that we find in the desert areas, isn't it? Anyways, so, the days are hot, the nights are pleasant. So, hot is something, you know, being uncomfortable. So, a little negativity here. Whereas, thing, uh, the nights are positive. Uh, sorry, pleasant, the nights are pleasant here again. I mean, two contrasting things, isn't it? Two contrasting figure, features. So again, what will we use? Of course, we will join these two sentences with the conjunction, but. So here goes the sentence. The days are hot, but the nights are pleasant. So these uh, two uh, features hot and pleasant since they are opposite to each other isn't it? Uh, they are in contrast with each other therefore we have used the conjunction but when we are joining these two statements together. So I hope and and but both these conjunctions are clear to everyone so it's basically just the opposite of uh, i mean and and but they are just opposite to each other next we talk about the conjunction or now where do we use or in two cases where there is a choice or where there is a possibility right so let us first talk about the choice. Choice is always, you know, there are two things. Either you go for this or you go for that, isn't it? This is what a choice is. Two things are there. You can pick anyone, isn't it? This is what, I mean, in, uh, I mean, normally choice means. Now let's see this. Let's understand this through this example. I can have tea. I can have coffee. So again, two things are there. Tea or coffee and there is a choice between two. Tea is also fine. Coffee is also fine. Right. So when there is a choice, we use the conjunction or. Now let's see how to join it. I can have tea or coffee. Right. So we understand that when there is a choice or can be used to join the sentences together. Fine. Now let us see the case of possibility. So when there are two statements, I mean two sentences and in one sentence there is a possibility. So there we can use or. Let's understand it better through this example. So hold the jug carefully. You will spill the milk. So, if you don't hold the jug carefully, you will spill it. There is a possibility that you will spill the milk. So, there is a possibility, isn't it? So, in that case, again, we can use the conjunction or. So, how, I mean, uh, how are we going to join the sentences? Let's see. Hold the jug carefully or you will spill the milk. So we see that or can be used where there is a choice or where there is a possibility.
right so i hope this much is clear to everyone now let's discuss either or and neither nor now let's see where we use neither either or and neither nor so either or is used when any one of the options is valid so two sentences are there and any one of them is valid there we use either or so let's see uh, the example she will call you today she will visit you tomorrow so there's again uh, an option isn't it so how will we join it together she will either call you today or visit you tomorrow fine so this is where we use either or and let's see the case of neither nor where do we use neither nor when both options are not valid right so let's see the example ram was not present ram was not uh, sorry raman was not present so ram was not present there and so was raman Ro raman was also not present fine so both the options are not valid isn't that so we can we'll use neither nor in such case let's see how neither ram nor raman was present clear so i hope either or and neither nor is also clear to everyone now let us proceed towards the conjunction because the conjunctions because as since all these three conjunctions are used to join sentences where there is a result and there is a reason fine where the result is there and the reason behind that result is also mentioned fine there we use the conjunctions because as or since let's see how through the example Puneet is very sad. He has lost his book. So one sentence is Puneet is very sad and the other sentence is he has lost his book. Fine. Now let us look at these two sentences. Uh, Puneet is very sad. This is the result. And what is the reason behind this result? He has lost his book. So this is the reason. Fine. So, uh, I mean, two sentences where there is a result and the reason behind that result is also mentioned. There, we use because. We can also use as, as well as since. Right? Let's see how to join these two sentences together. So, Puneet is very sad because he has lost his book right so puneet is very sad because he has lost his book so this is the result and what is the reason behind this result here so here we can use as we can also use since right so it can be Puneet is very sad as he has lost his book uh, or we can also write Puneet is very sad since he has lost his book. So I hope the topic conjunction is clear to all of you. Uh, so we'll meet again in the next session with some other topic. Thank you so much.